just completed a fascinating Wayne Robinson clinic. It was focusing on two-year-olds and uh, cowing them up for the first time, but it was really foundational for all horses. And William Notberg knows all about that and appreciates that because he came all the way from Sweden to um, participate, or actually, sorry, to spectate. Um, tell us, William, why did you come so far for this clinic? Uh, well, I've just been to cutting for almost a year now, and... Uh, I wanted to know the basic of cutting, how you start training the horse and you know actually I think it's going to help me when I'm trying to understand when I get into trouble with my own horse if I could understand how she's trained in she started her training like you do in the states and that would help me when I run into my own bumps back home in Sweden. Okay, so cutting for a year, um, tell us how you actually got into cutting. Yeah, it was, you know, like kind of, you know, the cowboy dream. And I tried a cutting horse and I, you know, I was hooked straight away. One ride on a cutting horse? Is that yeah. what did it? Yeah, but uh, I didn't get any good credits from the trainer. He, <laughs> he told me to get off the horse and he tried to ride it and said, I'm, I have to try my horse to see so he didn't ruin it. But, you know, I kept on going. <laughs> so was that adrenaline rush that got you? Yep, it sure was. So you had a reigning horse before that, is that right? And he, he, he got hurt, so then I went down and I knew this cutting horse was for sale. So I went down there and bought this mare. She's 10 year old, smooth as a cat mare. And um, she's been in Sweden for a couple of years. But yeah, it's, she has some issues that I want to take care of. And I thought, yeah, I go to the States and see how you ride your horses. And I try to, you know, go back to where, she, you know, see try to ride or like you do over here so maybe i could get over the bumps easier now there's always you know a clinic somewhere happening what was it about this one about wayne's clinic that you decided you, you had to come over because the focus was two-year-olds but what did you find out about what he teaches is it something you can apply to any horse yeah and i think uh, i read some about wayne and how we think about the horses and his uh, you know philosophy his program and that's uh, I don't know the English word for it but it suits me you know the way he thinks to be gentle to the horse to you know make it understand and you know not too fast and if you do it too fast you, you maybe uh, the horse doesn't understand and you get issues like today you know smooth all that's you know I like that kind of not the rough, you know. It offered the values that you appreciate in working with a horse. Yeah, the values. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the cutting scene in Sweden. Well, I had just been in for, you know, one year and it's very small sport in Sweden. And from the northern part of Sweden where I come from, it's, you know, you can count on your one hand the the people that are practicing it. And it's it's kind of hard to do it in Sweden because we don't have the facilities where you have the riding pan and the cows at the same place. And often those who have cows or have small um, groups of cattle. So that's the main big problem in Sweden because we don't have the cattle to train on. And how about the weather? Because Sweden is really north when you look at Europe. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. It gets really cold in the winter. And no, and no heated arenas? No, yeah, but it's mostly the heated arenas, you're not allowed to bring cows. Oh. Yeah, because in, in the, if you're doing um, the Swedish uh, Riding Association, it's not allowed to use live animal to ride on, so you can't uh, bring cutting to the Swedish Riding Horse Association. So the ones who are doing uh, working equitation in Sweden aren't allowed to train their horse on cattle. They have to go outside Sweden to train but the Western people you know we're not in the association so we're allowed to do it oh so you sometimes you have to be outside yeah. established practices in a sense to be able to do what you need to do um, do you get the sense that it's growing it's a growing sport in Sweden even though you've got those difficulties yeah it's growing more and more people you know buy horses with the good breedings from the states so you know if you raise the standard on the sports, more people we know, hey, I want to do that. So, uh, But uh, if you get 
if we buy better horses, our knowledge how to train the horses should, you know, follow with it. So I think uh, more people should go from Sweden to here to know, you know, learn from the base. So you'll have some great insight now after being at this clinic. Uh, what are your big takeaways? Uh, what, do you mean? what are your um, light bulb moments? What are the things that really have stuck with you about what Wayne has shown you that you want to go and put into practice? Mm, yeah, I, th I think one of the best things is, you know, he said, you know, about the things to move the feet and get the rhythm and feel. And that's what I've been trying mostly when I ride, you know, to get the feeling. To feel when the horse is doing right, you know, and... Uh, Often it's the same with me. I'm doing too much too late. So, you know, that's what I have to be better on, you know, get the feeling. And you you can see now when he was, you know, helping these guys over here and uh, how they got the feeling. And but, uh, Well, it's now, now it's, I got the theoretical part now. So I know to, to you know, reverse it to practical. And then maybe <laughs> that's the hard part, but I will try. Um. Do you think you might have um, something to share with other cutters back in Sweden now that you've been here? Yeah, I think I have a lot to share, you know, because um, uh, m uh, I think mo most of the cutters in Sweden, uh, we're good in, you know, maybe chasing the cow and all that stuff, but you know, the basic in riding, you know, to bend the horse and, you know, like you said, to, to make the space. Uh, and how to sit on the car and horse. Ma ma many pieces are m still missing, I guess, in Sweden. Well, enjoy the journey. I hope it um, all comes together for you. Yeah, I will see you again. <laughs> Thank you.